It's dark. It was a dark and stormy morning. Okay, now. Good morning. I'm trying to find the lights. Good morning, everybody. I'm faking it right now. I'm so tired. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I am in Austin. Um, and I'm going to go out for a bit of a garage sale ride along. As you might be able to see, there's some rain on the window. Some sprinklies. Some sprinklies. But I'm going out anyway. Because I get to be alone. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> Those of you that are stay-at-home parents, homeschool parents, will feel me. I am never alone. Ever. The voices are always there. And they are my children. So yeah, we are up here in Austin for the weekend. And I decided I'm going to go out garage sailing. There are a few out there. It's supposed to rain really more later. So I don't know what's going on with the sprinkles. So hopefully... There's a few garage sales, but I saw some estate sales um, listed as well, so I'm going to figure it out. Randy went and grabbed some coffee for me this morning, and it was like, oh, I'm so sorry, it's raining. I'm like, I don't care. I'm going out. I'm out. So, that's what I'm doing. So, I will um, we'll let you know what I find, but I'm going to go drive around and find. Okay, so I went to the first drop spots where there was supposed to be a garage sale this morning nothing it didn't even look like a house like where a house was so I really need to learn my areas in Austin so all right I'm gonna start looking for the next one and we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see Alrighty, I've made it out where there's supposed to be a community garage sale the rain has pretty much stopped I mean it's still damp outside but there's nothing I mean nothing there's a big sign out there that says community garage sale this weekend, but uh, no. And it says it starts at 8, but it is maybe like 15 till. Normally people are starting to get out and I'm driving. I'm trying not to drive, but all right, I'm just going to drive around a bit and see because I'm pretty, I don't know where I am. Round Rock? I don't know where I am. Somewhere. I'm going to look around. All right, I found one. Success. I made a cute puppy, but nothing nothing for me coffee okay. so I also realized maybe too late that I only brought $40 with me I forgot to stop and get money so hopefully the prices are right or there's a place to get money. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we'll go peek around over here and see what they've got. I think there's no signs anywhere because it's a community garage, so there's supposed to be a map or something. Ooh, chock full. I'm going in. They had a little shaker box that I was interested in, but I didn't, seeing as I only brought 40 bucks, I thought, oh, I better wait. All right, they're just going. Okay. Now, I know there was a garage sale back the other way. Since I only brought 40 bucks, I was so determined to get out this morning that I didn't even think to stop. I was just wanting to go. You guys get it. I have been overwhelmed. I have been an overworked mama big time. Okay, here we go. Crossing my fingers that we get treasure. It's a dude. It's a dude. Spread them out where it's actually Got a little bit of bears, honey. Yay! Got a bunch of bears. <laughs> Get into bears. I've got tubs of bears everywhere. Speak the bigger 
ones, it's because I've been selling online, but shipping is now so high. Oh, yeah. You know, people don't, don't want to pay the shipping on those bigger ones. Yeah. Okay, nothing there. I guess it's okay. You know what? My goal, I think, is I need to focus on not so much, because I don't really need a ton of stuff. I just needed sanity. So I think if I'm focusing on getting my sanity today, rather than finding treasures. <laughs> if I find treasures, that's awesome. But if I find my sanity, that's even awesomer-er. -er. Awesomer-er. <laughs> Even more of a boon. Here we go. We got two side by side. Let's do it to it. I wonder if I'm going to bump into anybody <laughs> out here. Okay, I spent $19 and I got some pieces. I'll show you in a bit. But they were nice. I paid up on one set. It was eight bucks. But it was sterling silver. Um and I can't remember the name of the other stone, but I'll have to show you. This is an interesting area. I think it's a 55 and older neighborhood. Mostly one stories. It's pretty out here. Okay, so here's the thing. While we're driving, and might as well just talk. So, as we're looking for a place to live in Austin, we are very torn. And I'm not talking about the royal we. I mean, we as a family are torn because we've got a lot to consider when buying a home. <clears throat> and now, one consideration. We need a home big enough for my mother and my father if they need to come. I'm gonna go look, hang on. So, things we're considering, right? My parents are getting a little older. And I think, you know, my mom's a bit stressed about us moving. So we want a place, we're looking for a place that has five bedrooms. Because if my parents, you know, or if my mom just wants to come be with us for a while, we'll have a spot for them. So yeah, there's that consideration. We wanted to make sure we've got enough space for everybody. Two, the second consideration is I, you know, we homeschool, so we need a home big enough for us not to be tripping over each other all the time and have a nice sized yard. We need a big yard because the guys play outside a lot. So a nice outside space. Now, the problem is, I mean, sure, we can find stuff like that further out within our price range, but the problem we are finding is, <clears throat> I went to this one too. The problem we're finding is that it's in these type of neighborhoods that are just, you know, new construction normally, these little tiny yards, these teeny beanie trees, maybe, is, uh, I don't know. So, this is a problem we're facing. Randy really wants to be closer in. And the more I'm around Austin, the more I'm like, you know what, that's what I want too. I want to be, he says, if we're moving to Austin, I want to feel like we live in Austin. Because if we move out here, you know, we'll feel like we're living <clears throat> back home, right? It's just like the suburbs where we live back home, where everything is the same. It's just the same, you know, the houses look the same, the stores are all the same. And while that's comforting that that's there, we're moving somewhere new. We want to feel like we're somewhere new. There's a sail over there. Yeah. I don't know. So we'll see. Ooh, they've got lots of stuff. Let's go see.
treasures in boxes. It's time to dig. Hurry up, Erin. That's cool. Where'd the book go? Over here. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Mm-mm. She had high prices. She had some vintage, maybe like 80s, early 90s belts. But like 10 bucks a belt or something. No. Like old watches you would have gotten like at Walgreens or something for 10 bucks each. And it was a bit too much. A bit. So, houses, right? We're looking for areas to live. And, yeah, I mean, since we're moving to Austin, we want to live in Austin. So I think it's just, right now we're just talking a lot, driving around a lot, trying to figure out, let me turn around here, trying to figure out where we want to be. Like, I want, there's so many wants, we have so many wants. I want us to be somewhere where we can get at green space. <clears throat> Where it's not too difficult or we have to drive too far. And I have a feeling that just being in Austin, in this area, it's going to make it a little bit easier. But right now we're staying right near the green belt. So we just walk over to the green belt, you know, and boom, my kids are poking in a stream and, you know, hanging in the woods, getting sugars, whatever. <laughs> you know, just, it's... Part of the childhood I would like for my kids to have to be able to be outside and explore you know okay here's a couple more and we're gonna go see what they've got oh I never did show you what I got I'll show you in a bit all right let me go in y'all it's hard getting footage because there's not that many people <laughs> your wall hook thingies. Okay, I spent, I spent a buck 25 there. Oh, it slipped. It slipped. So I got three of these. One, that one was 10 cents. And a two, 10 cents. And a three. It's ginormous. It's so humongous. Look at, look at, look at, look at. That was a dollar. <laughs> I could probably sell that for 60 or $70. Yep, I had another one, not quite as big as that. My sister claimed it for her own. I was more than happy <laughs> for her to claim it. But yeah, that's a big mamma jamma. Okay, so I'm gonna drive around a bit more. It was really supposed to be a buck 20, but I let them keep the change. Ah, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> It was crowded and I didn't really care about a nickel. <laughs> uh, so, what was I saying? I didn't really care about a nickel. Of course I care about a nickel. <sighs> All right, so we're going to look for a couple more and then I'll show you the jewelry stuff I got too in a little bit. But time is of the essence. Yeah, we talked a bit about the, what's happening here? Oh, I see. Um, you know, trying to find a place that we feel like we live in Austin. We did have an episode yesterday, which makes me feel like I need to start carrying pepper spray. 
I'm gonna need to get some pepper spray and I'll explain the pepper spray and why in just a moment. So we had an incident yesterday. The boys and I walked over, we walked down the green belt a bit and there was a park right off metric. And this dude, like, so we're at the park and you know, there's a, you know, those metal divider between the road and the, not the road, where, you know, if cars hit them, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's been there about waist high, waist high or so. Well, we're standing there. The next thing I know, I see this guy, bright red shirt, carrying what appears to be a cricket bat or a two by four. I didn't have my glasses on, but it was a large piece of wood, wide and flat. <clears throat> steps over the partition between the road and the park area and he's screaming obscenities and he's acting super erratic you know he's coming obviously straight towards us he's staring us down screaming obscenities with this cricket bat what it looks like from where I am because I don't have my glasses on so I'm like okay boys get up come on come on come on come on you know, I don't know where we're going because every apartment around there has a big gate around it with a code to get in. But I just said, come on boys. And there were a couple ladies that had little bitty ones and they started grabbing up their babies, you know, and start, we all start hustling down the, away from the dude, right? So then he sees us fleeing and he's like still hanging around the park and like starts walking around a tree screaming stuff and then he starts heading back towards the road, so we slowly start inching back, and he sees us inching back, so he starts coming at us again with his cricket bat, or whatever, two by four. Uh, and so we're like, oh, heading back away, running away again, you know, and in the meantime, picking up sticks, because I don't have anything to defend my children or these ladies with babies, you know, because they're holding their babies. So we, <laughs> we hustle away again and try to figure out, like, plan B, where do we go? I guess we just haul tail down the trail I don't know so then he goes off again and he's at, you know goes up back to the street and he starts walking up the street so we head back and I'm shaking the kids are like um they were shaking <laughs> so we we have to go back the way he is to get to where our the apartment is so we and another a lady with her two little ones start walking back that way and you know we can see him up the street so I don't want to go I didn't want to go back the way we came because that would take us to a very remote area under the green belt and was explaining to the kids well I want to go up and cross at the light because if something happens if he comes back I don't want to be in a hidden spot where nobody can see us I'd rather be up on the street where somebody can see what's going on. So, we do that. We get up to the street, and he's in between where we need to go. So, we ended up not crossing at the light, which I told the kids, this is so dangerous, I, I don't like this. But if we go that way, he sees us and turns back at us. So anyway, we can we get back to the apartment we are in the main office they have a pool table so I'm trying to like get the kids to play pool and you know just try to get them to feel like everything's okay play pool they have a little hot chocolate machine in there I made them hot chocolate um, and then I just called the police and just said hey <laughs> this happened just in case you get another call there's this dude with a cricket bat walking around angry so that was our adventure and then I realized I need some pepper spray or something yeah <laughs> okay so we spent we I spent two dollars I got these clip-ons because they don't have uh, there's no marks on them but I don't have any I didn't bring my magnet and then I spent a dollar for this beauty I mean, it's totally how. Look at it. Isn't it fun? I'm pretty sure it's how light. 99% sure. But I'll look into it more at home. Isn't it cool? And the bag had other 
little Halloween doodads in it, but um, yeah. Oh, I saw that other jewelry I want to show you, but we're going to move on. Yeah, so uh, it was a good conversation to have with the kids. <laughs> we've, we've, we've bumped up against people that are, what's the word I'm looking for? Because I don't like the C, the, I don't like saying people are crazy. There are people that have mental health issues. There are people that have substance abuse issues. There are some, and, and with my boys, sometimes they come up against other children that have not substance abuse issues, but mental health things going on. You just never know with, with people what's going on with them. So I try to explain to the children and the guy, you know, like one, don't look. You know, like glance if you need to, to see like location and what's going on, but don't stare because that's perceived as a, a challenge or a threat or, and if somebody's unstable or acting erratic, the last thing you want is to make yourself a target. So I explained to the guys, don't, don't look, stop looking. Cause you know, James was just like, what is up? You know, don't draw attention to the fact that you are noticing, you know? And with other kids, when, when this has happened, when it's other kids, he would ask them, like, why are you acting that way? Like, don't, don't do that because it, it won't, it doesn't matter. They won't change what they're doing with you asking them that. Um, so anyway, as we were walking back, James was saying, oh, I wish I had brought my hammer with me because I would have a weapon to protect myself. And I said, no, that's not a good idea for one. 90% of the time, from what I understand, my numbers may be wrong, but most, you know, many times you have a weapon and the weapon gets removed from you and used against you. And I said it would have been, this guy's, you know, one, he was acting super erratic. He was a man. Um, if he was on something, his, his adrenaline was all obviously pumping. He was very worked up, you know, so his adrenaline is going. So I was like, it would be so easy for a person like like that to take the hammer from you and beat your brains in with it you know beat you to death with, with your own hammer you know and I don't want to scare him but I want him to get like what I'm talking about so I said it, you know if you have a stick a hammer it doesn't matter a baseball bat because first, my first thought was I need a baseball bat and then I realized no that dude yanked that bat right out of my hands you know <laughs> and use it right against us so yeah, so that's why I was like, yeah, I, I, you know, we just need to get some pepper spray. Because then, even if it's a dog, because we have had problems with, you know, dogs coming at us. We could, you know, use it against the, you know, spray the dog or whatever. So, that's that. That's my thought process. Okay, garage sale. Let's go in. Alrighty. He had his beanie babies and he was selling them for a lot. <laughs> he had, you know, some of the beanie babies were five bucks. Some of them were two fifty, which wasn't so bad, but they were like the McDonald's ones. And then he had some other McDonald's toy like the country bears, the McDonald's country bears, and those were five something each. Why am I going this way? I don't know. I should be going the other way. Maybe I'll turn around. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no. And I did not need Beanie Babies. And that was not on my agenda for things that I needed today. So, all right. I think I've pretty much hit all of them in that area. Let me go back over here and see if there are garage sales on the other side of this neighborhood as well. Yeah, that, that dude was pretty, it was pretty frightening. It was a bit upsetting. Because I was like, well, what am I going to do if this guy keeps coming? If he does not back off, what is the plan? What is the no, how did I end up back over here? All right, I've turned around. 
Yeah, I was just like, I don't know. I, I mean, I knew it was, I was going to be the, I would be the one. Because, you know, you're a mom. You're not going to put your kids out front. <clears throat> so it was, yeah, it was concerning. And I, I was, I was kind of pissed, too. I was like, dude, come on, man. We're just, like, wanting to go to the park and enjoy the weather. I mean... Sorry if that's insensitive, because obviously he had a problem, but no, I like my safety. My children's safety was like not to be messed with. Anyway, that's what happened. That is what happened. Yep. All right. I'm going to go. There was another neighborhood not far from here that was having a community garage sale as well. I saw the signs as I was coming in, but I wasn't focused on this one. So I'm going to head back over there and then see, there were some estate sales. Those are indoors, so if it starts raining in earnest, there's somewhere I can go. And then I'll show you the other jewelry I got. All right, I'm getting on the main road, so I'm going to not record. got windy. <laughs> let, me, let me fix this real quick. All better. Okay, so stopped at this estate sale. I'm in Austin somewhere. And I picked up for five bucks this accessory box. It's a jewelry box for men's accessories. And I think it is fantabulous with this knight in shining armor on the front of it. So, super awesome. Oh, I just noticed on the back it has a maker made in Japan and it says price, a price import, which I know nothing about. I just thought it was awesome. And it's got this cool detailing. So, five bucks. So, while I'm stopped, let me show you what I got at that garage store where I spent $19 on some jewelry. That's a receipt you don't want to see. You don't want to see that. Okay, let's see what I got. Some of the bits were a buck. Okay, first up are these earrings. Let me show y'all. They kind of remind me of horseshoes. They look like so. They're kind of thicker, they're substantial. Um, and I got them because I, I feel like they're probably silver. I can't tell if there's a mark or not on them because of my eyes being the age they are. But they're really cool. And they feel weighty, so that was cool. So I got those, let me set those to the side. Then I got this set, and I know this stone, and I've forgotten this stone, so I'll have to look it up again. <sighs> so this is a, an, a pendant, and it is marked. You can see that. It's marked back there, and then the earrings that match. So this necklace was $4. It is sterling silver and has these pink stones. Then there's another necklace that looks, that's made just the same, again, silver, but this time it's got lapis in there. So those blue stones are lapis. This is the back on those, like that, if you can see them. There's a bit of a glare. Also marked 925 on those. Then, um, so those were four bucks each. And then I got a couple that were just in the dollar bin because it was fun. 
So this gold tone with this heart on it. Uh, yeah, I, you know. And then this one was also a dollar. This one has a barrel clasp. And it's got this serpentine. I don't know if y'all can see that very well. Oh well. And then a little ball. So now I'm going to see, I'm going to go check out this Savers, a particular Savers. Not the one we went, we went to last time, but another one that's in Austin. And just go see what I see.